the play fake. He'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. It's a big play for the Cowboys on third. 53 yards. Similar to a slant, it's all about timing when you're throwing a crossing route. Quarterback and receiver have to be in sync, and when they put it on them just right and catch it full speed, running through a defense, it can often result in a big pickup of yardage. A good pickup there, 22. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fellow runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. It's their quarterback. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Give him 30 yards there. Now, that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield those guys made that play possible. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. So here we go, first and 10 now. The play action fake, they'll look to throw. And he finds a man with a crossing round. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. set to take the field. Now, right now, they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Hoping now to get back in the end zone on this fourth possession. Oh, that was dangerous. Throw it into coverage, almost picked. But instead, they'll keep it on second down. Second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Incomplete. The effort's always going to be there. Everyone's always going to try and make a catch, but underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back and get it. Four down, four down. Set. Set. He'll drop to throw. He's going to air one out. So they took a shot there on third down, couldn't get it. Now it's four. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. That one goes for 36 yards. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. He's got his man on the crossing run. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Offense heading back out and ready to go again. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And unable to connect on the long pass. It falls down incomplete. 
And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, right, though. Falls incomplete. Looking to throw. And he's going to be taken down. Sacked back at the two. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Back to throw now in his own end zone. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. Now a second. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. But they're looking for it now as a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So you got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Going right side here, and that's complete. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. And now a first down following that long game. They're going to look to throw. That is caught inside the five. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll look to throw again. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. It's their quarterback. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. Ten yards still left on second down. Now let's go. They'll drop the throw. favorite target yet again. It's complete. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. 23 yards on the play. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And they're able to get this one down to the 25. A very solid gain of 27. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. They're looking for a spark defensively. When he went for that ball, probably thought he had a chance at the pick. And remember, they had two last week in the win. Obviously losing here. Well, you talked about looking for a spark, and the best sparks are when you make big plays for your team. And he had an opportunity there. Couldn't haul it in, but that doesn't mean they're going to back off at all. They figure if they can get one of those takeaways, they can spark their team to a win. 
Almost not fair. The big guy running the corner route, being able to lean and push and get to where he wants. So how do you stop it? A lot of times you want to have a linebacker on him, a bigger body guy who can handle him physically. But a lot of times that doesn't work as well because his quickness often wins the route. Being checked, and he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. It's their quarterback taking it in from seven yards away. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter that everyone's saying that. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six yard line. So tried to throw it in for two points. But... And now Dallas gets set to take the field. Play fake here on first down. Going up top. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Back to throw now on second and ten. And he finds a man on the crossing route. Pass interference. Offense. That's a good chunk of yardage that's going to be canceled out. And we always talk about hidden yardage in a game. That's going to count as that because now it doesn't go on the books. But now they have to make that up again, don't they? They'll set up to throw. Throws right side, and that's complete. And he's brought down after a good game. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Set up a throw. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. And a nice gain of 21 yards. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. He's going to wind up and air it out. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you score... And the Niners get there and bring him down. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. The quarterback was hit. had it defensively could have been a game changer there in this second half instead it's third down I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there you've got a lead you've got to protect it and he's taking chances putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy especially in a spot like this fourth quarter as you said trying to cling to that advantage yeah that one probably should have been picked huh he's gonna go for a big and got his man complete and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And that goes as a gain of 37 on third down. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish. The strategy would tell you... Touchdown, Cowboys! A big play there. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year.
And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they've done. They lead the league in points per game this season, but it's been quick strike ability as we saw on that drive. I think they're actually intimidating defenses because they're back on their heels right away, wondering where it's going to come from, how they're going to hit them. This group is well... And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They've really distanced themselves. They have put the pedal to the metal, I guess, so to speak. So definitely have them in the rearview mirror, don't they? I mean, you're exactly right. Being able to string together these drives that end up in points, it's almost like a run in basketball to create that distance, and they're on a really big time one right now. It becomes contagious, doesn't it? It absolutely does, because oftentimes, it translates to your defense as well because they're excited about getting the ball back for their offense that's playing so well. Well, they are clicking right now. His throw incomplete. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that's going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. The Cowboys on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. And the third down pass falls incomplete. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. He's got his man on the crossing round. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe-tapping, and, of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Ooh, I like it. Able to shake him off. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop. 150 left in the football game. The Cowboys on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and nine. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to four. Here's the Dallas offense now, heading back out onto the field. All right, here we go. Elliott. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. And the 49ers going to take another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. And he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38-yard line. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Third down and one. Let's go! Shakes off the sack. Now he steps away. He may try and run for this. And he will have the first before he's brought down right on the chalk of the 20. 
A big game there, and that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter if he needs to make the